Test, Test. Hello. So, a bit hard start. Um, not all my settings were where they used to be, so, um, but here I am. So I wa wanted to show you a bit uh, about Mega Info, um, which is a new part of the freezer. Um, and, well, best we uh, start with um a look at the mega 65 let me see if i can boot it up okay so um perhaps i start start first with the uh, old uh, yeah not that old uh, program we added recently so that we can get information about the setup you are using on your mega 65 with bitstream which um, rom etc etc and um, this is available on filehost um, as mega 65 info and it's both a PRG and a D81 image. And uh, recently I also added the RTC test program Paul um, made. So Mega Info was also initially made by Paul. Um, both of them actually. Um, I think I added and changed a bit of things here and there. So a Mega Info, um, will show this so all the numbers from the fpgas we have three fpgas the keyboard fpga shows uh, ff -f -f -f. so this is uh, still with a bitstream that has not the um uh, the hash encoded in it um and then the max 10 and the main fpga which both have the um commit hash and uh date stamp included. And then we see also the um, ROM info, the hypo uh, info, and the model I have here, the Mega 65 R3. And this is a um, retail model I'm using here. As, uh, it's my retail model, so I bought this. <laughs> um, and uh, the other program, which is, um, ah, fingers, keys, heart, RTC test will show what the RTC currently does. I was unlucky because my RTC works. I really would like to have a non-working RTC for testing, um, but well, so, uh, um, <laughs> so is it, I have a working one and I must live with, with it. But uh, there's a solution and we also come to this in a few minutes. So now let's look at the mega info. It's in the freezer. So I press restore for two seconds to go into the freezer. You don't have a hint here how to start mega info yet. Um, not sure where we will edit, but it's quite simple. You just press help and help will start mega info. And there you can see 
is essentially the same information. You see the model, the um, hashes um, of the um, bit streams on the FPGAs, uh, hippo version, ROM version. Then you also see um, all the essentials on your SD card. And as you can see, there are a few, three, which have a version inside. Um, I uh, did only update a few, so all the new SD card essentials will have a version encoded. Um, and I also deleted Sprite at M65, so you can see um, it looks for it and it tells me, oh, you don't have Sprite at M65 on your SD card. So I directly can see if my um, system has all the um, SD card essentials that are needed or that should be there. And in the upper right corner, you can see there is the RTC state. Perhaps I should name it state, not status. I don't know. I uh, have to look up how it's written in English. And you can see um, it detected that my Mega 65 is running on the internal RTC. It's telling me that my RTC is ticking. And it shows me the date as it's running upwards. In the um, lower and the uh, um, uh, bottom line, you can see a debug output. And <laughs> I can see I seem to have made a wrong version here because it's telling me ERTC. It sh should be saying IRTC. Uh, perhaps I turned around a bit. Um, don't know. <laughs> and it's a, a small debug output because it just shows me what it is working with, with because essentially it is uh, looking at the CIA's time of day counter, which is also sort of a real time clock. And uh, in the same time, it is looking at the RTC and it's counting how many ticks it sees on both. And then there's the diff value. Um, it compares the two. And um, the initial process is to wait for 20 seconds and then compare, uh, then look at the diff value. And if the diff value is uh, around one, because it could be that I start at, uh, um, at a split second and then one will be uh, one higher than the other. Um, and if after 20 seconds the diff value is uh, 0 or 1, then it will say the clock is ticking. If the diff value is higher, then it will say the clock is slow ticking. And if the RTC uh, did not tick at all, then it will say that, is, that the clock is not ticking. Um, and uh, this can be restarted. You can see in the um, uh, lower right corner there is uh, some uh, F keys, F3 for exit and F5 for restart. And if I, if I press restart, the whole uh, detection process will start again. We'll find all the information again. You see it's uh, internal checking. And in the bottom line, you can see that the uh, time of day value is running up. And after this shows us a one hex one five. It will tell us again that the clock is ticking. Wonderful. So let me see if I can switch to the camera, which is here. Okay, so I hope this works. So this here, or perhaps I start with the Mega 65. Um, so the RTC is this little bugger right beside the um, the battery, the battery and the RTC ship. And then here is the growth connector. I, 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 I think I mispronounced this in, an, uh, in another video, but it's the growth connector. So, and with this growth connector, you can fetch a RTC. So this is the, um, well, where am I? The battery. And on the other side, there's the RTC. And it has a connector here. And then there's the cable. 
and this I can now connect again. If I find the right pins, let me see. I'm a bit short sighted. Plus is here, so this is the right way. Okay. So now it's connected. And um, I also posted a picture in the Discord where you can see the right way you need to connect the cable. So it's essentially a plus is on one side, minus on the other side, and then there are two pins for RX and TX, and the fifth is not used. And now I can put it in the Mega, Mega 65 and just connect it here. So I uh, will switch back to the... Paul did also show this in his streams. Um, I switch back to the Mega Info screen and you can see it's uh, still saying internal and ticking. And if I now connect the Grove, you see it detects the external clock then it tells us that it is active and the check automatically started again. It's counting upwards and when we reach hex 1.4, we should again see a result if this clock is ticking or not. And it tells us it is ticking. Wonderful. And now I remove the RTC again, the external one, and again, it senses that the RTC is gone, switches to back to the internal clock and restarts the um, detection process. So with this mega info, you will have a direct way of checking your mega 65 and to get all the information you need to report a bug or ask for help because it's uh, important for us to know which versions you are using and perhaps you're using an old version and the bug is uh, already fixed. Um, or we need to um, 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 find out why it is happening. And then we also need to know which ROM, which uh, core are you using and um, uh, to, to try to um, recreate the situation when the bug happens. So that is also important. And uh, yeah, you can uh, make a screenshot of this and post this or if you have a JTAG connector you could also do uh, let me switch to my desktop you could also use um, mega 65 tool over the JTAG with the minus uh, uh, s big s uppercase s switch which will make a screenshot if my JTAG works, mm, which it currently does not. Why? Let me try again. Okay, it just did hang. So you can see there is um, the screen we saw um, on the Mega 65 and I could just um, copy, this, this is text, I could just copy the text and paste it or it also created a PNG here so I could also use the PNG and upload this to um, yeah, show my information. And that's mega info. Still working on it. It's uh, um, not yet in the SD card essentials um, included. It will be shortly, I guess, because currently everything seems to be working. Only a small, a few small hiccups like the debug line in the lower line uh, in the bottom line of the screen i need to fix yeah and then it will be in the um in the distribution with the next uh, core build i guess this will happen so yeah perhaps there are questions if there are questions i can uh, answer them let me see oh nothing yet in the chat okay um, if you have ideas what also could be added here, we have uh, still a few lines uh, <laughs> free. Um, 
So, perhaps, yeah, but it's, uh, it's meant to be the screen which shows important information. So um, I don't think we will do any configuration or changing here on this screen. Perhaps one information, um, important information, this mega info also needs the newest core because first of all, in the newest core, there is the external RTC support. And uh, second, there was a CIA bug with the 50, 60 hertz um, selection. So essentially the um, CIA time of day did run too slow in NTSC mode, um, which I first worked around, but then Paul uh, fixed it uh, in the core. And uh, now uh, it's running fine in both PAL and NTSC. Um, about the um, how it works, um, it will only work for 60 to 120 minutes. Um, then it will restart the whole process. I don't think uh, someone will let this run for such a long, t long time. Um, I had to find a, a smart way to work with the counters I have. So I'm only looking at seconds and minutes and I don't really detect uh, the hour overflow. So it will not run endlessly, but that's not the, um, yeah, that's not the job of this program. I think you will start it short for short time. Look, does my clock work and, um, or, or extract the information you need and with it on the SD card included in the freezer, you don't need to first mount uh, some disk to get this information and uh, have it for bug report or feature request or something like that. Yeah. No questions, I guess. This was it. I did uh, say it, it will be a short stream. Yeah, I hope this was uh, informational and uh, then I think I will get back to my um, programming um, of the of the uh, Apple II core, which I already started, but uh, I did not yet um, finish the video. It's still in the works. It's a bit, uh, yeah. Um, uh, fiddly work, uh, I would say. I need to, um, yeah, look, uh, show many different things with Vivado, and uh, yeah, this is a <laughs> bit more work as other uh, videos I did. Okay, then uh, we will see us again soon. I hope. Bye. Ohren heiß.